Hi, in this lesson, you will learn how to describe, ask, and answer questions about appearance. Let's go over the audio program. Hello, guys. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Good to see you. Hi, Lisette. Hello, Wendy and Amanda. Welcome. How are you today, Lisette? 
Ay, my dress was stressful. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What happened, Lisette? I much work. Mm -hmm. Many activities. My Many tasks. What do you do? What is your occupation? I, I am a tree surf. Oh, yes, you told me last week, right? Uh -huh. Ah, okay. You work with numbers, right? A lot of numbers in your occupation. Yes, yes. Teacher. And did you practice the reading? Did you practice no, the... No, I love my numbers. For the document. Mis contactos los perdí y tuve que hacer un reinicio de fábrica del celular. Ah. Lamentablemente ya no tengo la, la información para practicar. <laughs> okay, Lisa, that's all right. No problem. We will do that right now, guys. If you remember on, on Friday, no, I'm sorry, on Thursday, uh, we read this, right? Some of you. El viernes, algunos de ustedes, perdón, jueves, algunos de ustedes leyeron una parte de esto. But the idea is that you try to read it fast, right? La idea es que todos lo dijéramos ahora lo más rápido posible. Fast, as fast as possible. Wendy, can you start? Are you ready, Wendy? Okay. Okay. I'm going to share my screen. Give me just one, one moment. Okay. I'm going to share my screen. So here you can see the document and the stopwatch. Okay. Uh, just one question. Where did it I end? Don't... Sorry, Wendy. I don't see. Ah, okay. and now? Yes. Ok. Solo recuérdeme dónde acababa la primera parte. Is it here? It has a room. Teacher's yes, room. room. Ok. All right. So, Wendy se recordaba o se recuerda de cuánto era el tiempo que hay que alcanzar. No. No. Ok. If I'm not mistaken, si no me equivoco, era como... 30 segundos, like 30 seconds. 28. 25. Ajá. Uh -huh. so, ok. Ok, por ahí, Wendy. Ready? Ok. Go. Yes. I am an English teacher and I have a big family, so I have very busy daily routines. First, I get up every every day at 6 o'clock, get washed and dressed. I leave for work by 7.30. I get to school at eight o'clock. I prepare my lesson and then teach until noon. The other teachers and I always eat lunch and talk together in teacher rooms. Okay, Wendy, congratulations. <laughs> Very good to <laughs> Thanks. Okay, thank you, Wendy. Thank you. Now let's continue with Amanda. Okay, Amanda, ready? Are you there, Amanda? Teacher, no. good, good, good evening, teacher. Um, tengo un problema que estoy escuchando la clase de, de otro profesor. Aquí se oye bien fuerte, pero no sé qué me pasa. ¿Cómo se lo apago? Ah, está escuchando la clase de otro profesor. Ajá, es que me, o sea, sale el sonido de esa clase, pero no, no sé dónde quitarlo porque no, no aparece. ¿no? Mm -hmm. Ah, um, tal vez tiene alguna pestaña de, de internet abierta y está YouTube A ver. activado. Cierre sus, su browser. Inglés corporativo. Así ah, aquí está. No sé qué ha pasado. <ríe> ok, Amanda. <ríe> Permítame, pues, ya lo apagué, pero qué extraño. Ahora sí, yo escuché también al principio de la clase. Ya llevo un par de Ama, minutos. Ya no logré parar, no sé qué pasó. Ok, Amanda. So, are you ready? 
¿Ya está lista para decir el, la, esta parte? Sí, solo que el contómetro, el, el cronómetro, perdón, no lo puedo. Ah, ya está. Ya, ya. Vamos a ver, hoy sí. ¿Cuál me, one, ¿Cuál me correspondería leer? The blue part, la parte que aparece en azul. Ah, vaya. Ya, Liz. Ok, Amanda. Go. I am an English teacher and I have a big family, so I have a very busy daily routine. First, I get up uh, every day at six o'clock, grab question and register and leave for work. By 7.30, I get to school at the eight uh, o'clock. I prepare my lesson and then teach until noon. The other teacher and I always uh, eat lunch and talk together in the teacher room. Excellent, Amanda. Good job. Look at your score, 21 seconds. So great job. Thank you, Amanda. Now we continue with Tati. Okay, Tati. On the count of three. Are you there, Tati? Está por ahí. Tati. Good evening, teacher. Ah, hi, Tati. Good evening. Okay, Good Tati. Evening. Hi, Guillermo. Uh, I, I have a problem this night. And, ah, and I see. I'm driving to my home and it's uh, 30 minutes. Listen to my home. Okay, okay Guillermo, you can, uh, maybe if you can listen to the class and let me know when you can participate. Si puede solo escuchar la clase está bien y me avisa cuando ya pueda, ya haya llegado y pueda participar. No problem. Thank you so much, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Have a nice trip. Okay. So, Tati, let's continue with you, Tati. Okay, one, two, three. I am an English. I am an English teacher and I have a big family too. I have a very busy daily return. Weird. I get up every day and six o'clock, get washing and dressing and leave for work by 7.30. I get to a school, a school at 8 o'clock. I prepare my lesson and then teach until noon. The other teachers and I always eat, eat lunch and talk together in the teacher's room. Thank you, Tati. I appreciate your effort. We have to improve the score. Gracias, Tati. Vamos a tratar de mejorar el tiempo. Son alrededor de 30 segundos, Tati. Tomorrow we will try again. Vamos a tratar de nuevo mañana, Tati. 30 seconds. Okay, that will be the, the score, the goal. Okay, now let's continue with Lisette. Lisette, you told me about the problem. Ya me dijo lo que le pasó. ¿Quiere probar ahora o la apunto para mañana de una vez? Uh, voy a intentarlo. Ok. One, two, three. I am a teacher and I have a big family, so I have a very busy deal routine first. I get up every day at, at six o'clock with watch and dress as I leave for work. By 7.30, I get to school at eight o'clock. I prepare my lesson and uh, teach until noon. Okay. The other teacher and I always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher's room. Okay, very good score, he said. 27 seconds and you didn't practice. So that's an excellent score. <laughs> Thank you, Lisette. Catherine, ready? Thank you. You're welcome. Are you ready, Catherine? Yes. Okay, one, two, three. I'm an English teacher and I had a big family. So I had a very busy daily routines. First, I get up every day at see a club, get washing and dresses, and I lay for words by 7.30. I get to school and a club. I prepare my lesson and then teach ultimum. The other teacher and I always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher's room. Okay, Catherine, excellent. It's, it was like 20 seconds. So very good score, Catherine. Thank you. Uh, just one, one word, guys. This one is BC. Okay, the one that you see over here, guys, the right way to say it is BC. Okay, Catherine, thank you. Ready, Angelica? 
Hello. Angelica. Yes, teacher. Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. I'm an English teacher and I have a big family, so I have a very busy daily routine. First, I get up every day at six o'clock, get washed and dressed and leave for work by 7.30. I get to school at eight o'clock. I prepare my lessons and then teach until noon. The other teachers and I always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher's room. Congratulations, Angelica. 18 seconds. This is impressive. Yay. So, great job. You deserve an applause. Thank you, Angelica. Good pronunciation. Okay. Now let's continue Thank with you, Hazel. Teacher. Ready, Hazel? Uh, okay. Okay. I'm I'm okay. Go. <laughs> I'm an English teacher and, an, and I have a big family. So I have a very busy daily routine. First, I get up every day at six o'clock, get washed and dressed and leave for work by 7.30. I get to school at eight o'clock. I prepare my lesson and then teach until noon. The other teachers and I always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher's room. Excellent. Very well, Hazel. It was under, understood and very good score. Thank you. Okay, and I have Vane, right? Vane Carolina, right? El que dice ah. Galaxy A20. Ah, okay. Uy, le cambié el nombre, pero... I will change the name, se lo voy a cambiar yo por acá. Okay. Vane, what is your last name, Vane? Eh, Vane. Eh, Rivera. Ok, Vane, Rivera. Ok, Vane, ready? Set, ready. go. And I'm English teacher and I have a big family, so I have very busy daily routine. First, I get up every, every day at six o'clock, get washes and dress, and I leave for work. The seven, sorry, I get to high school at eight o'clock, I prepare my lesson and then teach until noon. The other teacher and I always eat lunch and I talk all to, together in the teacher room. Okay, Vane, <laughs> thank you very much for your effort. I appreciate it. It was 30 or less, 30 seconds or less. Era 30 o menos, así que la vamos a apuntar. Vane, para mañana vamos a repetir, okay? So okay. practice, okay? Practice a little bit more and tomorrow we repeat. But thank you, thank you very much. Okay, okay. and last one, we will continue with Mario. Hi, Mario, are you there? Hi. Hello, ready, Mario? Hello, yes. Okay, go. I'm an English teacher and I have a big family, so I have a very busy daily routine. First, I get up every day at six o'clock get to wash it and dress it. And leave for work by 7.30. I get to school at 8, 8 o'clock. I prepare my lesson and the teach until noon. The other teacher and I always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher room. Okay, 20 seconds, Mario. Thank you. Great, great Thank score. You. I appreciate it. Guys, because of the time, we will continue tomorrow. We will listen to Marlon, Vane Carranza, Vane Ramirez. No, sorry. Ajá, Vane Ramirez tomorrow, because we have to continue. Vamos a dejarlo en continuación debido al tiempo y escuchamos mañana los que nos hacen falta y los que van a repetir. Okay, so guys, good to see you here. This is the last week, right? The last week of the course. Remember to finish, finish your platform this week by Thursday. And we will practice present perfect during this, this week. Vamos a estar trabajando present perfect en esta semana y traten verdad ya de finalizar la, algunos ya la terminaron, ya tienen hasta su certificado, pero si no la han terminado, recuerden que esta es la última semana para terminar la plataforma. Ok, so present perfect. I'm going to add some info here. Present, perfect. First, we will talk about the formula. Okay, so Vanessa Ramirez, 
Do you remember by any chance the formula or the structure that we use in present perfect? I don't remember, teacher. Okay, that's fine, no problem. And you, Marlon? Okay. Do you remember the formula, present perfect formula? Um, we always start with the subject, right? That is the first thing we use. But do you remember what goes next? Plus and have. Which one? Have. Have. Uh -huh. We have two options. Thank you. We can use. Okay. Have or has. Thank you. And then, who remembers what continues? The verb. The verb. And it would be in past participle, right? Verb in past participle. And at the end, we use the complement. We have the complement. Okay, so that is the formula. As you can see here, we have two, two options. We have have and we have has. Okay, Eric, do you know when you have to use has? Remember? When we have to use has? Uh, when is... Uh, the subject is, is I and you and it. Okay, thank you very much. Give me one, one second. Okay, so yes, we have to use has in this case with singular singular nouns, singular nouns, and we will have he, she, it, right? The exception is I, it's an exception. It, I know it's a singular noun, but it goes on the other side. And have is used with plural. Plural nouns. For subjects, I, you, we, and they. Those are the, the options. For example, I have, you have, he has. She has, it has. Have, they have. And if you wish, you can use contractions. We have contractions. Okay, that I'm going to add here. Contractions. I've is the same, but the contraction form. I've, you've, his, his, its. We, give, and then we use they, okay? Those are the contractions if you want to use them. A complete sentence. We have studied English for three weeks, 
sorry. He have studied English for three weeks. If we change the subject, we use, for example, she, has, right? She has studied English for three weeks. Okay. This is the structure. Eso es lo que tiene que ver con las fórmulas o estructuras que vamos a estar utilizando. We use the verb in the past participle form all the time. Todo el tiempo el verbo va a ir en past participle. To make it negative, si ustedes quieren hacer su oración negativa, it will be easy. Just include the word at. Si quieren hacer la negativa, solo le agregan not a cualquiera. I have not. You have not. He has not. She has not. It has not. We have not and they have not. And there are contractions. We also have contractions. Number one. Contraction number one. Have not contraction form haven't right that is the contraction form just going to change this have not the contraction is haven't has not contraction hasn't that will be the contraction is there a question in this moment for me, question about the, the structure. Alguna pregunta sobre una de estas estructuras? No? Teacher, perdón. En, uh -huh. los hey. perdón. en los ejemplos decía que negativo eh, sería We have not started English for three weeks. Ajá, lo vamos a poner acá para enseñarle. Solo para que quede aquí la muestra. Voy a ponerla con contraction y con no contraction. Podría ser she, no contraction at all. She hasn't studied English for three weeks. Usually, y les voy a enseñar esto cuando son negativas, en vez de for, vamos a utilizar in. Luego les explicaré más sobre eso, sobre unas palabras que podemos utilizar. Now contraction. Option number one. This is one. She hasn't. Oops. Hasn't. And option number three. She's not studied English in three weeks. There are three different options. And I'm going to use we. Voy a poner una con have too. But I'm going to go here. Give me one moment, Mario. Give me just one moment. Okay, negative form. We have not studied English. Option two, we haven't studied English. Option three, we've not studied English for in three weeks. I'm going to change it here. Aha, uh -huh, Heidi. I don't know if, no sé si tenía alguna duda con respecto a las contractions. No, teacher. Teacher. Okay. And, mm -hmm. Eric. In the previous ruler. Ajá. Uh -huh. um, when a 
me confundí ahí, este, cuando dice que es plural y singular, ¿no sería mejor decirlo eh, que es cuando son terceras personas? O sea, de, creo que ahí la confusión, porque para mí hay no era, no era plural y, ah. y está con esa regla. Yes, I, I told, well, no, mencioné de que, ajá, eso sería como la exception, pero les puse acá singular nouns porque a veces no van a utilizar subjects, sino que sería, por ejemplo, the doctor, the doctor, singular noun, y ya sería has not worked, as an example, worked this week. So, That is why I use singular nouns, eh, Eric. La única exception es el subject I. Mm -hmm. But I'm sorry if it confused you. you. Mario, did you have a question? Era la tercera, eh, la forma, tercera forma negativa, uh -huh. contractada. Esa era mm -hmm. mi duda, pero ya la aclaró. Ah, ok, all right. Gracias. Vane Ramírez, do you have a comment? No, teacher. No, okay. Guys, can you create two sentences? Okay, one affirmative sentence and one negative sentence, please. And send them by chat. Hagan dos, una afirmativa y una negativa. Please. And then we talk about questions. Y luego vamos a hablar de estructura de preguntas. Today's class, in this moment, it's about the structure. Ahorita solo hablamos de la estructura, ya les voy a explicar, ¿verdad? En unos momentos el uso, the use. Thank you, Lisette. The sentences are correct. Okay. Alice has brushed her hair. Thank you, Angelica. Mm -hmm. Correct. We've not eaten. Eaten, Amanda. Ese sería la, el verbo en el past participle form. Then let's see. Okay, Hazel, thank you. Just, I happen speed. What do you mean, Hazel? Sorry, Get... no era speed, era sleep. Ah, okay, all right. That's fine. Solo cuando utilice exercise, utilice don. Don't exercise. Do. Y slept. Eso sería el past participle form. Ok. Uh -huh. Then Haiti. Ok, Haiti, thank you. They are correct. Amanda, the one about dancing is correct too. 
And then I have seen the movies. Okay, the structure is correct, Catherine, and the negative one, two. Then Mario, okay, thank you, Mario. The sentences are correct. Hi, Anna. The sentences are correct as well. So continue sending the sentences. <laughs> continue sending the sentences. I will check them in a moment. So this is the structure we use for questions, right? I'm sorry, for statements. For questions, for questions is just a little change. Okay, I'm going to add it here. Questions. Okay, and I'm going to give you some examples. Okay, so that is a normal sentence. When you have a question, we are going to switch. We will switch or exchange, vamos a intercambiar. We will exchange the auxiliary and the subject, okay? Has the doctor worked this week? Okay, we only exchange the position of the subject and the auxiliary. Solo van a intercambiar la posición del sujeto con el auxiliary has. Has the doctor worked this week? Yes, he has. No, he hasn't. Or no, he hasn't. Short answer. Number two, I'm going to use some of your sentences. Okay, Tati says, she has called her mom. She has called her mom. Now the change, ahora hacemos el cambio for a question. Has she called her mom? Answer. Yes, she has, or no, she hasn't, or no, she hasn't. Now, Eric, okay, Eric says, I have visited Costa Rica, okay? I have visited Costa Rica. Now, the question, or let me change it. Let's say they have visited Costa Rica. Question, just the change, el mismo cambio. Have they visited Costa Rica? And then you answer, yes, they have, or no, they haven't, or no, they haven't. Yes, no questions. Eso es para cuando son preguntas que son de solo sí o no. If you have a WH question, just include it at the beginning. Si ya la pregunta llevaría un WH question como why, when, where, what time, solo lo van a incluir al principio. For example, why, okay, WH, why have they <clears throat> visited Costa Rica? Why have they visited Costa Rica? And then you answer, have visited Costa Rica because it is their favorite country. 
as an example. Because it is their favorite country. That's, that's an idea. Are there questions for me in this moment? Do you have any comments at the moment? Okay, if you don't have a question, yes, Tati. Solo en question sería que al principio sería has o have, no más. Ajá, it depends, sí, dependiendo de su sujeto, ya pues va con have or has. A menos que sea una pregunta de información, las que son WH questions. Ok. Que, sea, que aquí le doy unos ejemplos, está what, when, why, eh, how long. Con todas esas, pues entonces ese se pone al principio. Y ya luego pone el que vaya. How long have you studied English? Just okay. the WH. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay, so guys, the same one of the sentences that you sent, transform it into question. De una de las oraciones que me enviaron, transformenla ahora en pregunta. Please, and send it in the chat. Vane, Vane Rivera, the sentence you sent, I have much hungry. No le he explicado todavía el uso, ¿verdad? De cómo se va a utilizar. Sin embargo, la estructura, Vane, tiene que llevar el subject, el have, y luego va a ir un verbo, Vane. Ir en work. Lleva un verbo. El match no es un, un verbo. Sería solo el adjective. Try to change it. Trate de arreglarla, Vane. You send it to me. And then, Wendy. Wendy, the sentences are correct. And Vane Ramirez. The sentences are correct, too. Okay, Catherine, thank you. Correct, Angelica. Have I worked hard this week? Okay, thank you, Mario, correct. Usually we don't ask questions to ourselves, right? Usualmente no nos vamos a preguntar a nosotros mismos, a menos que fuera como una pregunta retórica. Si fuera una pregunta retórica hacia uno mismo, then it would be correct. Hazel, uh -huh, have you done exercise? Has she eaten pizza? Yes, Eric. Has she finished her homework? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I sent a document by WhatsApp. It's a, it's a picture. I sent this by WhatsApp to practice the structure form. Aha, uh Pane, -huh. sí. Solo que el verbo va en past participle, así que hay que agregarle ed. I have worked this week. Okay, that be correct. Okay, so the idea is that you complete that you complete the statements using using the verbs in parentheses, and you have to use the correct form of the verb. La idea es que Completen la oración utilizando present perfect. Solo tienen el verbo en su forma base y ustedes tienen que utilizar el correcto, el auxiliar correcto, have or has, y cambiar el verb 
a su forma participio, to the past participle form. Okay, I question the I statements, negative and affirmative statements. Please do it on the notebook. Okay, tomen sus notas en un notebook. Si quieren mostrarlo para que todos lo vean, lo pueden hacer. But you have to take notes on the notebook because it's, it's a picture. You won't be able to take notes digitally. And the questions, okay, Vane Ramirez, it is correct. Ana, correct. Yolanda, yes. Guillermo, thank you. Aha, uh -huh, Heidi. And Vanessa Ramirez, yes, it is correct. Okay, do you have any questions before I split you up? No sé si quieren hacer alguna pregunta antes que los separe para trabajar. Teacher, uh -huh. I have a question. Yes. In the exercise at the second paragraph or second sentence, uh, it doesn't it doesn't see the verb or we use the present perfect. Uh -huh. You have to use present perfect in all of them. This okay. one, this has some sentences in past tense. Hay algunas en las que deberían de usar past tense debido a lo que dice. Sin embargo, como solo estamos practicando ahorita structure, Como solo estamos practicando structures, vamos a usar present perfect para todas. Just if it's okay. a question that eh, Angélica, si es pregunta, si lo elabora en forma de pregunta. Ok, teacher. Thank All right. you. You're welcome. Please open the room and work with your partners, please. Hi, Bunny. Bunny, are you there? Es que me pasé la computadora, que estaba en el teléfono. Ah, okay. Who were you working with? Con Mario estaba trabajando. No me acuerdo con quién estoy. Okay, la voy a enviar a un grupo. Okay. okay give me one moment. Que cuesta que me cargue la Yes, hay algunas que se tardan un mundo en encender. Sí. Okay. In the second. Hi guys. Hi, brother. 
How are you doing? Do you need uh, help? Sería. Son las relaciones this? de las que hemos estado haciendo, ¿verdad? Uh, using present perfect. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Eric, did you have a question? Yes. Este, what is your structure in the number two? Question? Yes. Okay. It will be first, it's a yes, no question. So you have to say, have you ever, have you ever met? Me. Uh, met because that's the past participle form. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you ever okay. met her brother? Her brother. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tomorrow I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the use because we can use present perfect in different ways. I'm going to tell you about the use and I'm going to tell you about ever, about the use of ever in the questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. And number number four, you're missing have, Eric. Number four. Uh -huh. Have you. Uh -huh. Have you seen, Caitlin? Caitlin? Yes, seen. Mm -hmm. Seen, but it's a question. I can't mm -hmm. have. Yes. Lleva la N. Si le ven un question mark al final, háganlo en forma de pregunta. Ah, sí. Yes. En number three, no sé si la han dejado así por algún alguna duda. Number three. Uh, number three sería Where have you was? Where Last have week? you? El, el, was where, is past tense. Where. Was and were son past tense. El past participle form de, del verbi will be been. Sorry. Uh -huh. Been. Been. Mm -hmm. been. Mm -hmm. so, so where, where, where were been? No, where have you where been? Have been? Entonces en la 1 nos hemos equivocado. Tendríamos que agregarle I have saw. Sin. Sin porque es, aquí uh -huh. vamos a trabajar con past participle. Todos ah, son el participio. Sí. Está bien como lo habíamos hecho al comienzo. Ah, pero no le habrían agregado el have. Y el have. O la contraction, right? I've. Uh -huh. I have seen. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Y solo okay. asegúrense que todos vayan llevando esa structure, ¿verdad? Porque son partes fundamentales. Ok, do you have... Eso, no. Ajá. Yes, solo Lisa. un comentario. Que, que bueno, quizás había confundido yo el verbo. Me estaba poniendo en pasado. Pasado, ah. no en pasado participio. Ah, ajá. Ok. Y vamos a, a trabajar este tema los cuatro días, porque es un tema bastante profundo. Así que ahorita vamos comenzando, ¿verdad? Ya el jueves ya van a estar más, este, ¿cómo se llama? Como afilados con este tema. But right now, just the structure. Ahorita vamos con la structure. Ya luego empezamos a ver el uso. The use in, in different exercises. Okay, Lisette, Eric, and Vane, I'm going to go. Me voy a ir, voy a ir a ver cómo van sus classmates. And if you need me, let me know. Si me necesitan, ahí me avisan. And I'll return. Okay, teacher. Thank you, teacher. All right, see you. Thank you. And next, next is a question. Where, uh, where, how about? How where, you, uh -huh, where, how you bought your laptop? Uh -huh. Hi guys, sorry to Hi. interrupt. Do you need help? 
Do you have questions? Oh, no, teacher. Thank no you. questions. You're no. fine. Okay, yes. that's good. Good to hear. Which one are you doing right now? Number 11. 11. 11. Ah, okay. It's yes, right. 11. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. I'll see you in a moment. Bye-bye. Okay. <sighs> Hi, Tati, Angelica, Marlon. Do you Hello, need teacher. Help? Hi. Hello. Do you have questions or problems? Yes. Mm -hmm. How can yes, I help teacher. you? In the, in the number seven, uh, Seria, what have you done last weekend? Yes. Mm -hmm. Ok, just to clarify, solo quiero aclararles que algunas de las oraciones que están acá van en past tense, pero debido a lo que estamos estudiando ahorita, solo vamos a utilizar la estructura de present perfect. Esa, esa debería de quedar en past tense, como what did you do? What did you do last week? Pero como estamos uh -huh. solo practicando la structure, yes, quedaría así, Marlon. Oh. What have okay, you done? Thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. okay. And you, Angelica, do you have questions? No, teacher. Es que esa era, esa era la, la que tenía, pero no, ya. ya. Oh, sí, ya. Uh -huh. <laughs> sí, sí, porque no iría así. Y mañana que hablemos del uso, vamos a ver por qué. Pero ahorita, como solo quiero que nos enfoquemos en la structure, por eso ya no les dije de que, que vayan cambiándolo, porque no hemos hablado del uso. Ajá, uh -huh. so it's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Okay. All right. Okay. See you in a moment. Goodbye. Hi, guys. Es como el otro, Bob. How are you doing? Do you need help? Do you have questions? No? No question. Yes, yes uh, teacher. And Grammy uh, is the she. What is the number? What is Which, the meaning of granny? Uh, granny is still. Ah, granny. Granny is like grandma. Mm. Uh -huh. But it's in a lovely way. Es en una manera así como más cariñosa. Como uh, abuelita. Abue. Uh, That's granny. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And about the structure, guys, or have you finished? Ya terminaron por acá. You're done. No. Por la 13, va. <laughs> ah, okay. All right. You're almost done, right? Ya casi. Yes, ya casi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm going to let you continue. In about two minutes, we will return. We will return to the other room. All right. See okay. you in a moment. Okay. Bye bye. Perdón, en la 12. Hi, Heidi, Catherine, Amanda. How are you Hi. doing? Do you need help now? No sé si necesitan algo de ayuda. Or comments. No, pues. Lo voy a cocinar yo. Creemos que está ahorita vamos. <laughs> You're going well. Okay, yeah. and you, Catherine. Questions? Amanda? Mm, I, no. I have no question, teacher. No. no. Ah, ok. So please save your notes, ¿verdad? Guardan sus, sus anotaciones, porque el día de hoy no vamos a poder re revisarlas. But we will do it tomorrow. Pero mañana sí vamos a ver sus respuestas. Okay. I will let you continue. In about one minute, we will return. Ok, en alrededor de un minuto les mando ahí para que regresen al main room. Ok. See you okay, in a moment. Teacher. Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, could you finish, Anna? Did your group finish? 
you were working with Guillermo, right? Hazel and Vane, uh -huh, Vane. You finish. Yeah. <laughs> okay, excellent. Because of the time, guys, we will check them tomorrow. So please save your notes. Debido al tiempo, las vamos a estar revisando mañana. Solo guarden sus, sus apuntes para que mañana veamos cómo quedaron, okay? The way they, they are. Do you have any questions before we go? No question. No, no questions. No question. Okay. All right, guys. So for now, that's going to be all. And tomorrow we check the, the, the answers you got. Okay. Have a good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. 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 bye.